For example, 3, you can see we have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0. Everything is in the proper order and equal to 0. So we can identify our values of a, b, and c from the quadratic equation. a is positive 4, b is positive 12, and c is positive 9. We'll start by writing the quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and those terms are all divided by 2 times a. Making our substitutions for a, b, and c, x would equal the opposite of b, this time b is a positive 12, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that means 12 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 9. All divided by 2 times a, so that's 2 times 4. To simplify, negative times positive 12 gives us negative 12, plus or minus, terms under the radical. 12 squared means 12 times 12, or 144. Our three factors to multiply are negative 4 times positive 4 times positive 9. Notice there's only one of the factors that's negative, so we will subtract that product. 16 times 9 is 144, and 2 times 4 means we are dividing these terms by 8. Look at under the radical here, 144 minus 144. That is 0. So that simplifies as the square root of 0, and square root of 0 is 0. So to simplify the whole expression, x now equals negative 12 plus or minus 0 divided by 8. When you add 0 or subtract 0, we're not changing the value of this first term. So if we expand these two answers, negative 12 minus 0 over 8, and x equals negative 12 plus 0 divided by 8, you can see that I have negative 12 eighths for the first answer and negative 12 eighths for the other. Now, of course, we could reduce these to lowest terms. 12 and 8 are both divisible by 4. That would leave negative three halves for each of these simplified answers. So you can see there really are two solutions, but since they are identical, we say there's only one unique real solution. The ordered pair would be negative three halves comma zero. That describes the x-intercept or the zero of the function. So we had decided that our lead coefficient is positive 4, so that means the parabola is opening up. If we make a sketch of this parabola, first plot the x-intercept. We only have one x-intercept. So if I call this negative 3 halves, then I'm using the lead coefficient to help me know which direction this parabola opens. Positive means up, so our parabola is going to look something like this. And we don't know exactly where it's crossing the y-intercept at this point. We'll be concerned with those details in another lesson. For now, we are just determining which direction the parabola opens and solving the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula.